Lonnie, what's going on? So, uh, our last guest of the morning has arrived, Mr. Poet Paul Hogan. Big fan of his, and we're gonna let him in. Mr. Hogan, right this way. Let's follow the cameras. Good morning, how's okay, it going? Good morning. Oh, terrific. Good, good. come this way. All right. You excited to be here? Uh, oh, yeah. Thrilled with the back teeth. Do you know a lot about Howard? Yeah, oh, enough. <laughs> Enough? Enough, yeah. I mean, this is your first time on the show, right? Yeah, and I've never met him in the flesh. What are you expecting? Well, I read his book and I I saw the movie. And, uh, I'm expecting to get torn apart. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, anyway. Do you like Howard? Are you a fan of the show? Oh, no, I don't want to say that. You don't want to say that? <laughs> yeah, of course I am. Who isn't? Speak, Paul Hogan's here. You know who Paul Hogan is, right? Ah, I don't know who no? Crocodile Dundee. I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to dress you up a little bit. We're going to... Okay, so you took your shirt off. We're going to put this... We'll put this on. You know what this is? Shirt off? Yeah, you can take your shirt off. That'll be good. We're just, you're cool with this, right? It's just a silly outfit. Right? Yeah. There you go. So we're going to put this around your neck. It's a monkey. I know. I know yeah. that. It's cool? <laughs> Ain't that, though. <laughs> I didn't say you were dumb, bro. <laughs> nah, that's a joke, dude. Hey, why are you hitting me, bro? So, what's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? It's not strong. You're not strong? Nah, that's strong, though. That is funny. That's a joke. There you go. You like that? Okay. okay. Then your headphones will still reach. Put your headphones. Okay, good. Good. And then if you want to put these, uh, put these on, too. We'll leave the room. You could change. Is that cool? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. All right, we'll leave. We'll come back and put those on. Just yeah, do it as quick as you can, though. All right? Yeah. Okay, good. I'll put them on. All right? I'll put them on. All right, just do it as quick as you can. Okay, okay. Okay. Do you mind if the camera stays? We won't show No, no. Okay. All right. Peter, just hurry that. up. Hurry up, though. <laughs> I'll take my time. <laughs> no, you got to hurry up, not take your time. I'm not in the You're joined this morning by Beetlejuice, who now has stripped down to G-string and has... What do you have, a monkey on your shoulder? Yeah, it's a monkey. With a right. big it's a monkey. A monkey sh on your shoulder. Hey, I and, can't and wait... And his uh, underwear are snakeskin. Snakeskin underwear. <laughs> uh, but let me tell you, uh, right. this guy, Paul Hogan, I love him. He I rocks. love him. I love this guy. I don't mind saying it. Look at that. There's my hero, Paul Hogan. Wow. Look at that guy. He's younger than That's my movie. hero. How you doing? Good to meet you. <laughs> He's like a guy wow. with special powers. I got to tell you something. The, the Crocodile Dundee movies are the friggin' best. I, and I'll tell you why I say that. Every time the damn thing is on HBO or any of these channels, I got to stop and watch this thing. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's, it's one of the best movies around. Both of them. Crocodile one and two. Yeah, you even made yeah, a good no, sequel. Me. <laughs> I never say anything nice well, about anybody. Why not? Yeah, put why. your headphones on. You'll okay. you'll, you'll hear a uh, Robin. We're, We're, yeah, he's he's really wondering. There's <laughs> got to be something going I'm, on. Yeah, I'm right? waiting for the move. <laughs> and by the way, Peter, you say hello to Paul Hogan. How you doing? How you doing, Peter? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Anyway, uh, now we hear Crocodile 3. Mm. Crocodile Dundee 3. I'm thrilled. Trilogy. Uh, you really scare me, Howard. <laughs> Why? Why a 3? Well, Do you think I, mean, I, I got a sucker you... punch coming or something? Uh, yes. No, but you were, uh, <laughs> you know, I heard you on the radio the first time I ever heard you about five years ago, and I had to pull over to the side of the road. <laughs> and you're the first guy on radio that I ever started talking to, to that sort of, Jesus, Howard, you can't say that. I and mean, we don't sort of have anything like you at home. No, there's nothing in Australia quite like how You're still Howard's living story. in Australia? Yeah. Oh, I live back and forth between there and Santa Barbara. Okay. Yeah. I bet you spend more time in Santa Barbara. There's nothing going on in Australia. It's got a family. Oh, there. There's not much going on in Santa Barbara either. But, uh, really? Yeah. It's just quiet life you're living or what? Oh, pretty much, yeah. Pretty Why calm, are you doing man. a crocodile through? You said in an interview in Playboy that you would never, ever, mm. and when you were promoting Crocodile Dundee 2, yeah. you said, I'm never, ever going to do another sequel to this movie. Yeah. And now here you are doing Crocodile 3. What happened? I shouldn't have said never, should I? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, people are always saying never say never. Man, By the way, I did a movie how great my marriage was, so. <laughs> 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 you know. uh, well, I saw your movie. Yes. Um, it was a fairy tale. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no I, 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 
Yeah, but no. you went through the same thing. I mean, you were married a long time. Mm-hmm. And well, then wait a minute. This is a guy. He was, you know, just a guy, and he had a wife and a reg- you know, regular set of family. He wasn't just stuff. a guy, though. Wait he was a, a star in Australia. Yeah. But wait a minute. Yeah. This woman took him when he was nothing. Yeah. Okay. So you're but, like me. <laughs> but yeah. then he makes a movie. Yes. Mm. All of and a Linda Slizluski's in it, who's a no. piece of ass. But That's... it wasn't until the second movie, right? That no. things really started to hop. No, he's probably banging around the first movie, you just think? kept it quiet. Go ahead, give us the <laughs> scoop. I, say, I think he I made the sequel. Let the man talk. Wait a minute, I just think he made the sequel so he could get her again. Get Amber on the phone. Uh oh, she's got me. <laughs> Is Robin right that you fell in love with her on the first film and you said, I got to be around her some more, so I'm writing a sequel? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's more complicated than that. It is more complicated. You know, my, my first wife divorced me in 1981. Right. She divorced you. It was her yeah. idea. In 1981, and I uh, married Linda in 1990, so, you know. Right. You don't cross the two over. Yeah, but you, you, you read too much crap in the paper. Oh, so yeah. she did, you didn't leave her for... Don't take any notes to print journalists. Listen to, <laughs> listen to the man that's sitting over here. Well, was that painful uh, that your image was changed? Like, like, oh, man, he dumped his wife for the, the co-star in the movie. And but, when no. you're saying you're, your marriage was already yeah. over. Oh, the, oh, the stupid part of it was that, that I dumped the kids. I didn't dump the kids. I got custody. You did? Um, of ten uh, kids? Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> neither of us wanted custody. You got ten uh, kids? Well, I mean, my oldest is 38. You know. <laughs> but weren't the kids angry with you when you brought home Linda? Was that a tough transition? Seriously, to bring and introduce a new woman to these kids and say, this is my new wife? Um, no, no, not at all. Because and how old is she compared to your kids? Who, Linda? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's a bit older than my oldest one. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. yeah, Linda's a piece of ass. Yeah. Yeah. My wife stopped dating so. her. <laughs> my favorite scene in the first Crocodile Dundee. No, no. When you're down in the water there. Yeah. She's down yeah. in the water. You're hiding in the bushes. <laughs> And she friggin' takes, I think it's one of the first movies where a chick was in a thong, like a yeah, Gino, was, you know, yeah. and she's in the thong and you could see her ass. Man, how could you not fall in love with her? <laughs> well, I resisted till the second one. You did. That's yeah. what I thought, that they didn't fall in love until the second one. You're telling me on the first Crocodile Dundee, you were single for the first Crocodile Dundee. No, you were always separated. Separated yeah. already. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. smart move. Howard's still separate. So you're, saying, <laughs> <laughs> you're saying, so you're saying that the first wife didn't get any of the money from the Crocodile Dundee movies. Oh, yeah, she did. She oh, she was, did? She's a happy, wealthy ha- woman. She's a happy millionaire. And she <laughs> married again and sort of. Oh. But, you know, it doesn't How does that feel when another guy has your money? How does that feel when another guy's got your crocodile <laughs> Dundee money? <laughs> yeah. How does that feel? No, he didn't get any of it. He didn't? <laughs> no. Oh, come on. He didn't laugh. Doesn't he get to live with her? <laughs> yeah, he gets to live with her. And they're, they're, pro- they're flying around in private jets. <laughs> What's great about the first crocodile Dundee movie, and a lot of movie people point this out to me. That movie opened very small. You only released that yeah. in, in a couple of theaters. And the word of mouth was so strong that then it went into big release, right? Yep. And there was a demand for it. Yeah. And then the movie took off. Now, you don't see that happening anymore. Movies now are released differently. If you don't have a first big weekend, you're sunk. But wait a minute. Yeah, you're out of there. How did you finance that movie? Um... Oh, friends. You didn't yeah, sell yeah. your own sperm to a sperm bank? Uh, I heard it was something like A little that. bit, yeah. You produced the first crocodile? Yeah. Oh, yeah. so you must have made a ton of dough on oh, it. Oh, yeah. I owned it. Yeah. You owned the whole yeah, damn film. because he yeah. got his buddies to put up the money. Mm. After you made the film, did you take it to a studio and sell it to them? Uh, no, I got a studio to release it. I Just still to distribute it? it? Yeah. And you still own it. it. So yeah. when I see it on TV, you're the owner of that film. Yes, God bless you, Howard. Oh, my God. Yeah, so are you a, smart. Yeah. You're a multimillionaire. I retired after the first one, and what I do now is, uh, <laughs> is like a hobby. Yeah, you just yeah. make movies for a hobby. Yeah. <laughs> that is beautiful. Mm. So you are a genius. No, I'm lucky. You wrote yeah. the first one. You're the genius. I'm lucky. No, yeah. no. Yeah. Believe me, you're the genius. Yeah. You, uh, you're the one who's retired, not me. <laughs> you wrote the. Uh, Good you, if you wanted to. You wrote the. Uh, you wrote the first one yourself. Yeah. Mm. No and kidding. it was based on some guy in Australia, right? Mm, no. It no, it's not really no. that guy. No, 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 that guy will come over and sue him. Be quiet. No. If it is, we after, don't want to say it. After the movie, there were about nine crocodile Dundees coming out of the right? woods. Is that right? I love you in that movie. Well, then how did you get the idea? It's not like your crocodile Dundee. And I got the idea in first visit to New York. It's everyone who comes to New York for the first time feels like they should have a piece of straw in their mouth, you know. It's all good. <laughs> right. And um, I wrote it from there backwards, mm. And I thought it was, it was a love story, too. I wrote a sort of romance between a, a backwards guy and a sophisticated New York boy. Right. And, and, and now, I, I saw in the paper, you, you and Linda just had a baby a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. A couple of years yeah, ago. Yeah. That's the two-year-old. Yeah. You got a two-year-old, you got a 40-year-old, you got all kind of kids. Well, I've been, uh, been the... The youngest dad at the PTA, and I've been the oldest. Right. <laughs> so, uh, so Linda, fabulous. yeah, you started having kids pretty early, I guess. You probably no, didn't want to have more kids, but Linda's a young woman. She wanted to have a kid, right? Mm, yeah. yeah. 
How do you have ten? No, I didn't want to deny it though. But now, now that we've had it, I'm totally stupid and besotted by it anyway. Right, yeah. man. I'd love yeah. to have a kid with her. But when, yeah. you know, when you're in your <laughs> wait a minute, Howard. I yeah. still, I've never gotten no, no, stop to. Him, no, stop right. him. I've never gotten to talk to somebody who has as many kids as he has. Yeah. Ten kids, and you got custody of them. I don't have ten kids. I have five sons and a daughter, and. A couple of daughters-in-law and a son-in-law and uh, oh, that's where the nine, numbers mount. N- nine grandchildren. <laughs> are they all milking you for cash or are <laughs> you supporting uh, everybody? Well, they all look after them. So what do all the kids do? Movie. You got any kids who are they, independent? They all have proper jobs. They yeah. do with yeah. you and your production company. No, no, none of them were <laughs> really. No, that's no. so you raised them well. Yep, no, independent. So. Yeah. So, I mean, when you're doing the movie with Linda, the first one, mm. you got to be saying, Jesus Christ, look this at is that girl. look at this girl's body. Look at she can act. She's perfect. Mm-hmm. And you get totally into it, right? Yep. I mean, it's crazy. And you wrote yourself some love scenes. You were smart. Yeah. Um, not really. No, no. <laughs> there's not a lot of love scenes. No, there isn't. No, it's all You movie. don't get to kiss her in the film? That's what's good yeah. about it. Why don't you watch it? And you'll see. That <laughs> Why don't you take a look at these I'll movies? I'll download it later. <laughs> yeah. So, so then you write the second one. Mm-hmm. And that's when you start banging her. The uh, second one is... Um, nice. Nice. Um, now, do you start right I, on the set? I didn't set? know if she'd do it. I had a real problem on the second one. Did she have a boyfriend when she uh, um, first started doing these movies? Um, yeah, I think so, yeah. C- C- probably like that's got to have a boyfriend. Yeah. And, so, and it's, isn't it great stealing, the boy, uh, stealing her away from her boyfriend? Not him from the set. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's, 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 he's upsetting our chemistry. But wait a minute. Does he start doing it right on the set? Yeah, right on the set. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right in front of everyone. Right, right in front of the directors. Did you direct the, Did you direct those movies? No. No, I was a writer producer. Nice. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be the director. Director's too much hard work. You know, you've been down that road. You know, also, you want to yeah. have some feedback from yeah. people. Yeah. Now, listen, uh, your movie, too. Yeah. How do you like my movie? I'll tell you what. I, I think, would think you liked it. I, I, I did like it. Thank you. I really liked it. It was it. a great movie. And uh, the, what I got out of it was... You know, you've got the balls of a horse, Alan. Thank you, yeah. thank you. You have no idea. That's what you got. Yeah, you don't have. I don't know. About, uh, you, uh, I, literally, I don't. Yeah. Well, My balls doing? are very tiny, actually. No. But I thought that was a very brave movie. Thank yeah. you, yeah. thank you. I might make another I'm one. I'm not Monday. sucking up because. You know, I won't hear what you say when I've left. <laughs> By the way, I wanted to bang my co-star as well in that movie, but... Did you? She no. Wouldn't go she right. wouldn't for go for it. And you haven't <laughs> i got to write a sequel. A sequel. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but when you, when, you, when you met Linda on the movie and everything, this is, to me is a great romance. You, you yeah. meet her on the movie and everything, and you say, like, like, did you cast her yourself? Like, did you see her and say, man, she's just she's hot? She's the girl? No, my, uh, my producer partner cast her. Right. And, the, and after a couple of weeks, or the first week, she went to him and said, I, and I don't know if I can do this. This guy's very cold. She's like, a, oh, really? Yeah. She thought you were cold. Said, supposed to be the love interest, but he's, he barely talks to me. Yeah. Interesting. So it wasn't he like, played it right. Why don't you explain to her? It's acting. It's acting. It's, it's, acting. Acting. it's yeah. called pretend. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretend. <laughs> the guy doesn't have to talk to you. Yeah. So... You, you, you're working with her, mm-hmm. and you notice how great she is. Now, is it love at first sight for you? Um, no, not for either of us. Oh. Right. So you worked. Said, to, she just, if you listened to me, you'd have heard me say she went and complained that I was cold. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, Robin. but, but for he you, might have been, you know, just too shy to talk to her. You know how guys are. We don't need, love at first sight like, for us. You just see a chick and right away you're hot for oh, her. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lust at first sight. Yeah, that's different. But right. it wasn't like you were desperate or anything because you were already a big star in Australia, right? I mean, you were a well-known guy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you. Start working with her, right? Mm-hmm. And then you realize sometime during the filming of the first movie, you might really have something going on with her, but it'd be embarrassing yeah. to get it on with your co-star. That's so typical Hollywood. Yeah, it's, it becomes the shipboard romance. And, and right. when that happened in the second one, it's what it became anyway. That she <laughs> instantly, d- didn't matter what she was, she became the bimbo that had sort of grabbed hold of the big movie star. And I right. thought, I'm not a big movie star. Right. I'm only going to make about three movies in my life. Right. And I, said, you know, I just said to her, you know, we'll just have to, just have to wear it. Right. And only time will tell, and time, time has, you know. Yeah, I mean, you guys you guys are happy. Yeah, we've been, you know, 15 years I've known her. Yeah, right, she's yeah. nice. Mm. And that's a nice girl. And oh, yeah. what do you do all day? <laughs> well, yeah, what do you do all day? <laughs> I love that voice. <laughs> you got such a dirty voice. I, I am so dirty, because I'm thinking, well, are you tempted to bang other I chicks? I mean, you are. You are a wealthy man, and, uh, you know, you're well-known and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah. But you're not tempted, huh? Oh, no, no. Really happy. Oh, I've been down that road, you know. Oh, yeah. I don't know. He's but so no, those no. Those <laughs> <like> <laughs> But I imagine you have. Yeah, yeah you're selling your wild oats. <laughs> but yeah. anyway, I mean, now you're very wealthy. Yeah. I'm comfortable. You've yeah. got the girl. Yeah. You got a private jet? Mm-hmm. 
No. no. What do you got? You got a house in uh, California. Yeah. You got the house over in Australia. Yeah. But that, that ain't worth a lot of money, the one in Australia, right? Well, that's a big house. That's oh, that is big. House. Howard. Yeah, the, what, what, how big is it? a lot of commercial work. Yeah, that's, 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 no, what, what is it, lot. Subaru? Yeah, those no. Australian Outback uh, commercials. What is it, Subaru? No, yeah. 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 Subaru. No, no, don't, do. don't say yeah. You're lying now. <laughs> don't say yeah. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? You do a ton of commercials. I do. I see on TV all the time. Hey, I do Subaru Outback. Right. That's it. We That's it. Do a lot of those. You're like the spokesman. He's the guy. Oh, yeah. They so what are you saying? They don't pay me what I'm, I'm saying. Why are you guys fighting? <laughs> no. I'll take you down. That's just I want Paul, just kill him, will you? <laughs> take out that knife. <laughs> yeah, take out your knife and just knock him up. There it is. There's the knife. Oh, I don't carry the knife. No, I don't carry a knife. Man. I'm not, I don't pretend I'm crocodile down there. I just have a pocket knife. You wouldn't do that in real life. Look at the size <laughs> of that. Thing. Thing. Wow. Beetlejuice, you, you, better, you better not mess with him. That's the OJ knife. <laughs> right? I don't even know what it is. You don't know anything. That's right. I like that. Now, so I've been carrying that round for about fourteen interviews, waiting for someone Somebody to bring it up. To Nobody bring has. It up. <laughs> Howard will. There it is. So you, so, so you start to get it on with her mm-hmm. during the filming of the second movie. Yeah, yeah. And then you said, "Oh man, this is this is trouble." Oh, and, and why get married again, though? Why not just like hang out with her? We didn't rush into it. We lived together for a couple of years first, and you knew it was the real thing. Yeah. Then we got married, and then we, a few years later, we decided we better have a baby. And what's the what's the deal on uh, uh, Crocodile Dundee three? Is she still is she still your woman in Crocodile oh, yeah. Dundee three? Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And, and in you, fact, she a gets kid. a job. That's why he has yeah, to go to L.A. See, I don't want to know too much. I don't want to no, ruin it. No. But she gets a job in L.A. Yeah. Well, she has to go and take over the newspaper bureau. The plot doesn't matter. Are you guys married at that point? As long as you do cool <laughs> stuff. As long as you kick ass, I'm blah, into blah, it. Blah, blah, you go to LA. I love it. <laughs> to me, it's a Superman movie, but like a realistic kind of Superman movie. At least it's a regular guy. Yeah, he's, right. Yeah. Right. He doesn't have to come from another planet. So do we? Do you go back to Australia in this movie at all? Does it start out in Australia? Because oh, yeah. the last the time we left you in two, you'd you'd kill those uh, gun guys, mm-hmm. you know, the coke dealers or whatever. Yeah, who kidnapped him? I was back there. Yeah, he right. Stayed there for ten years, and now he's going to L.A. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. So you lived there with your wife. Are you married? The, the character. Yeah. No, the character. They're, still, they're still living together. They got a nine-year-old son. Really? Yeah. Just living together? Yeah. Why? Why no marriage? They've both been married before, and, and, and Mick Dundee's very slow. He doesn't rush. And they have a son. Yeah. Is he like boy, like in the Tarzan movies? Uh, like, yeah. I you mean, teach him no, you, Is he skills? a croc hunter? He's a, and, no, he's a cute <laughs> nine-year-old. He is. He doesn't yeah. live in the outback with you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, because then we could hand him the franchise and keep him going. Yeah, I'd have to wait until he got to be 21. Kids, oh, you got a nine-year-old. Kid the kid's cute enough. I like this. fabulous. You got the nine-year-old. You moved mm. the, the wife and the kid to, I mean, the, the girlfriend yeah. and the kid to Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. Yeah. Just and what happens there? Oh, a little bit of undercover work and a little bit of intrigue in the, really? in the shonky movie business. Beautiful. It's, you know, it's, it's looking at L.A. through the eyes of Mick Dundee for an hour and a half. Right, right. The plot, you know, you don't analyze it. Are you plot. happy with this one? You think it's as good as the other two? I think it's funnier than the other two. Really? Yeah. 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 When's well, that I, open? This Friday? to make it funnier. Yes, mate. i got to go see that. Matt, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, Howard, yeah. this is the biggest ass-kissing session I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I, I love the movies. I'm sorry if it's an ass-kissing session, but I love the movies with this guy. I love uh, it. What's he going to do? What can I tell you? And what am I going to say bad about the guy? He, you know, what am I going to say? I love the movie. He doesn't make any bad movies. He just makes Crocodile Dundee movies. Well, and he's, he's smart. Couple he of, uh, no, are, are, are you, are you trying to audition for a part in the movie? <laughs> no, I don't care about that. I just want to watch the movie. <laughs> I love oh. Crocodile Dundee. That's it. It's one of my favorites. I can't deny it. Every time the friggin' I've seen the thing it's fifty thousand times. Cable TV. I could I could probably tell you every scene, and every time I watch it, I got to mm. sit there and watch the whole thing. So that's the sign of a great movie. Yeah. Well, well, and by, I am kissing way, his ass. And I told both, you I was going to kiss his ass. You guys are both the best in the world. All right, thanks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was getting defensive. See, now you're no, kissing hey, ass. Geez, you don't get defensive. You know, the next thing you know, you'll be apologizing. Mike, you're on the air. Come on. <laughs> hey, Paul, how you doing, pal? Listen, let me ask you a question. Uh-huh. You, ever gone, you ever gone down under on your wife and doesn't taste like kangaroo? Ah, oh, that's oh, insulting. Goodness. Come on. What's the matter? All right, what about yeah. that? Does your wife taste like a kangaroo? <laughs> <laughs> Bit of class. How does kangaroo <laughs> taste? Oh, come on. This is outrageous. <laughs> this is outrageous. <laughs> Take out your knife. Oh, I wish that guy was here. <laughs> Uh, let's try a few more phone calls. It could go either it way. It could go better. <laughs> right. It could go worse. It won't. This man's name is Angry Mulatto. Oh. Yeah, Howard, I, I hate all Australians, especially this ass white. Why? Yeah. He's a liar. He's, he's a typical Australian. Why? What did he do? Well, let me tell you. This guy he makes been, good movies. Well, you let me tell you. He's all right. 
idiot like all Australians. Why did they have the Australians? He's stupid. He's a liar. Duh. He's a clown. And he's a fool, man. He's a punk. Wait, why don't you take your skin cancer Aussie ass back where you came oh. from, Megan? Oh, and why? Howard, I'd like to challenge this asshole to a uh, <laughs> uh, the undercard. I'll be the undercard. Why are you <laughs> angry mulatto? Oh, I um, see. You're like angry black. Right. Yeah, but he doesn't have any Paul specific. Hogan, but why do you hate me. Paul Hogan? Wild allegations. Why do you? I know who this is. This is Craig Kilborn. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize your voice from the green room. Let's go to Eric. Eric, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, first of all, I want to oh. say, Paul, I love, I love all your movies. <laughs> yeah. I have a funny story about Beetlejuice. No, we don't want the fun. We're talking, we're talking to Paul Hogan. I know, but I have a funny story with Beetlejuice that we did at a party. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, go ahead, Kevin. Hey, Paul, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> he's a little, he's a little gun shy. A little bit gun shy. Yeah, go ahead. What have I done to you? <laughs> this could be a scene from the movie. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Yeah, me and Brian Zelensky just want to know how good the weed is in Australia. How's the weed in Australia? Good uh, question. Excellent, dude. Really? You hey, still you Paul? smoke? Most excellent. You do. Hey, Paul. I like tobacco. Huh? Hey, Paul. You yeah, don't smoke yeah. weed? Not, not anymore. No. Hey, Mr. Hogan. Yeah. If uh, me and Brian Zelensky just give you our address, will you mail us some of that kangaroo crap? Oh, um, what kind of question is that? Yes, yeah, so send your address. Give it Mike, to go Mr. ahead. Gordon. Yeah, uh, Howard, personally, I think you're a faggot, but the right off target <laughs> with this uh, Paul Hogan guy. Right. He plays a regular guy. He's right. a man's man. Right. And Hollywood hates that. They want some sensitive Brad Pitt. Pretty boy, he's a rough, tough guy, and more power to you, Paul. There you go. And thanks for calling me a faggot in front of my hero. (laughs) That's Uh, right. All right, thanks a lot. (laughs) Thanks. I could kick some ass. (laughs) Yeah, go ahead. Hey, I've always wondered from the first movie, because I'm sure I'm not the only guy in private who's done that. That hand movement to tame the animals. Did that come from anything? Is that is any truth to that? What's wrong with you? Uh, You've never tried that with an animal? No. Of course it's not. Is, the, is there any works, truth works to that? on some dogs and, try s- it on Benji. and some people. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Benji, you know what? I'm going to get an attack dog in here, and you can do it. <laughs> yeah. I tried it. I got bit. <laughs> He's sitting there waving his hand. <laughs> I wish I could do that to you and tame you. It works in Harlem, too. All right. Let's go to uh, line 14. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, uh, Paul, what do you think of the uh, Survivor show? Are they a bunch of pussies? or What would you do if you ran out of food and you were in the... Yeah, what about, what about these people? They put them in the outback. And uh, what? Do, what is your thoughts on this survivor? Well, is that, you know, it's not the outbacks got nothing to do with those people. Would be dangerous in Central Park, <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> you don't watch that show. A, uh, I do watch it. Yeah, I like. I look at accidents on the freeway too. But it's, right, it's hey. not the outback thing. It's um, if you were camping with them, if I was camping with them, you know, two hours and I'd be down the river by myself. It's sort of what kind of guy are you though? Are you like one of these guys like like Sylvester Stallone who makes action films and then you're like all intellectual, like you paint and read books and stuff, or <laughs> no. are you like a regular guy? Do you like sit and watch TV and drink beer? Yeah, I'm the most. You bland, boring guy that you'll ever run into. I think. You watch a lot You're of television. You're not trying to what's a, what's put a guy, on any airs. A guy who's got as many millions as you, mm-hmm. and you say you're retired, except for like making a movie here and there mm-hmm. or, or doing a commercial. What do you do all day? Oh, geez, I, I, I ride a bike around, a push bike. I got motorbikes. I got um, horses. So you play? I ski? Oh, yeah, I travel. <laughs> You're holiday. a sports guy. <laughs> I'm a bludger. A bludger? Yeah, I mean, so I do as little as possible. Right. That's I'm, great. I'm really good at it. And, and then at night, what do you do? You just take Linda out for a movie or uh, what? No, oh, I've got a baby now, so we, you know, play baby games. Really? I'm, I'm really boring, Howard. I'm a but man- how big I'm is a, the house in Australia? I'm a masturbator at night. Yeah. That's yeah. what I do. Oh, well, yeah. everyone does yeah. that. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, but how big is the house? <laughs> what did you get? Yeah. How big is the house there? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's about 500 acres. Oh, wow. Wow. oh that's yeah. nice. I, I like to have me out to the house. Yeah, it's not right. Take you f- three days to get there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, a bit of a trip. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm being told you have to go. It's an honor to meet you. I'm looking forward to uh, Crocodile 3. It's called Crocod- Crocodile Dundee in Los Angeles. Opens Friday. It opens nationwide April 20th. Is that Paul this Hogan. Friday? Yeah. Do you, uh, you wrote this one yourself? Uh, no, I'm not credited with writing it, but I did. Yeah. You did. You wrote it. Yeah. You gave Why are you not credited? credit? I wrote the screenplay. The WGA wouldn't let me have a credit because I'm the producer. Uh, what? Really? Yeah. That doesn't make so who's sense. credited well, as about, a writer? Uh, the two guys that uh, wrote the plot with me. I see. Yeah, but it's not their fault. It's the WGA. I've never heard of them before. Uh, they're about to go on strike, and you know I'm a dirty foreigner and a producer. Do you own so this yeah. film as well? Yeah. You do? Yeah. You, 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 <laughs> wow. You got that formula down, don't yeah, you? Mate, yeah. Beetlejuice, that's what you got to do. Beetlejuice has got two films opening this summer. You got to you gotta get ownership. Yes. You got to be a producer. Right. Yeah. It might be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you got to work on that. I'm with anyone else. I'll with that. Yeah. If there is a, a Croc 4, 
You got to put Beetlejuice. Oh, I mean, oh, as man, an yeah. Aborigine or something. It took me 13 years to do a Croc 3. You might be one of them walkers if I did a 4. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. It's great Can to meet you. Can you imagine Beetlejuice is one mm. of the Aborigines he runs into? He'd be great. <laughs> you would be great in that movie. Yeah. You would. Could be. Yeah, could be. All right. Well, we'll talk. We'll talk. All right. I got to take a break, and uh, the great Paul Hogan will be back right after these words. Everything all right, Beat? Yeah. yeah. Everything is good, huh? Everything is good. Hey, Beetle, what did you, what did you think of uh, Crocodile Dundee? You got to meet oh, him. Oh, yeah. He's a nice guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. I watch his every show, every movie he makes. He's a good show. I like it. You like him? Yeah, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy? Yeah, he's a what nice guy. What did you guy. like about him? Oh, he's just a friend. He's a, just a friend. He's a nice guy. Did he you like know? your outfit? Yeah, he likes the outfit. Yeah. yeah. What's that on your shoulder? Oh, it's a crocodile, dude. It's a monkey. It's a monkey? It's a monkey. All right. So you, had a, so you liked meeting Crocodile Dundee? Oh, it's just for fun, yeah. Just for fun, you know. That's all. All right. That's all I need. All right, give me a pose, man. Give me a pose or something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, uh. <laughs> all right, Beetle. Paul, did you have a good time in there? Oh, yeah, I was a bit overawed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you were nervous going in, thinking Howard was going to attack you. No, you no, know? I was an- anticipating him to attack me. That's, you know, that's what he does. Well, were you surprised at how big of a fan he was of yours? Um, yeah. Yeah, were you yeah. glad? Were you I, was glad? Wait, I was waiting for the sucker punch. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, look, he's an original. You know, you know how rare that is around the world? Trust me, he's original. <laughs> and he's got cojones, as they say. Yeah. What and and you I carry say? a big name? Uh, I only carried it around because someone always asked me. And no one ever did. <laughs> it's, it's a joke, you know, it's a pocket knife. Can we see it? We... It's just a pocket knife. And that's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, it's like a, a pun on the... Uh, the, other, the original big knife. But no, I don't. Right. I never carry it around. <laughs> All right. Well, Only thanks for, for coming down. Okay, it was a pleasure. Take care. Thank you. Have a good day. Ronnie, what happened? It's fucking ridiculous, man. What happened, Ronnie? Did you see the size of that knife he had in his back? Yeah, I know. Well, How'd you let the, that go? The rule here is don't search guests, okay? So well, don't search celebrity guests. Yeah, well, he's a celebrity guest, so right. we didn't search him. And he had a big knife. So he could have took that knife out of his back and flung it right through his chest. But this, yeah. is the, this is the rules around here, you know? You gotta take a chance, I guess. That's it.